Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we are going to continue with this Fiat 500 lounge. I want to get this rear end completely back together um, and then we can start cracking on with the inside, all the airbags and all that sort of side of it. So let's crack on. Let's do this. So yeah, a very, very busy day today, hopefully guys. I want to get all this completely put all back together, uh, done up, buttoned up and finished. So we ain't got to worry about that anymore. Um, and then we can start concentrating on the inside. Um, as well as uh, the engine as well, because I want to check, because I might be doing a timing belt on this. I just don't like to leave them without being done. It's, it's got a little bit of tape that's come down there, but I can't trust that that's been done. Um, and I just think it's it's selling them as well. When you when you go to sell them, the first thing that people ask are things like this, like when was the timer belt done, uh, service, uh, all those kind of things. They're quite important to people to know that they're not going to be able to, don't have to do it um, when they buy it or there's going to be any issues with the belt snapping or anything like that. So... It's just a nice selling point for people, really. So we're going to do that as well, I believe. I just can't leave it. <laughs> I can't sell it without, without doing them for some reason. Um, it's just the way I am, I suppose. Some people will just sort of do the repairs and kick it out the door and don't care. But I do, I'd actually do care every single car that I do. No matter if it's for me or it's for, um, you know, one of you guys. Subscribers, cars, or it's mine. It doesn't matter. I'll just take a little bit more care. Um, and yeah, I think hopefully, hopefully that shows in the videos of what I do and, and what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's enough waffling. Let's crack on. I'll set you up on a tripod. Let's get going. Let's get this rear done uh, and, and at least back on its wheels so we can sort of maneuver it about properly. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> so let's do this. Right, so guys, making some good progress, I've got to be honest. Um, it's all been bolted up, all been but buttoned up. I've done all the lines, all the brake lines have been done up. Uh, I can't really show you that one. I can show you this one. I've got the torch. I don't know where my torch is. Um, but yeah, so all the lines have been done up. Um, and that I've pushed the brake cables this way and pushed them through. I haven't done them up on the inside yet, but we'll do that um, in a little while. Uh, the, now I want to try and concentrate on is <clears throat> the drums. So this is the original drum that come with the actual um, beam and they're just shocking, terrible. So I'm going to swap them for these ones that were um, the original ones on the other beam for the car. I'm hoping that they're going to fit. Um, they look slightly different. They look slightly different. Um, if if that is the case, then I'm gonna have to really clean these up um, and get them back on, get that surface rust off, give them a paint, a lick of paint as well on the outside, just just tidy them up, make them a little bit more presentable, get all this you know rust and stuff off. It's just yeah, it just needs a good clean. So a really good service on the actual inside of the drums as well. The actual pads here and here, uh, these ones are actually better thicker than the original ones off the beam so um yeah all i've got to do is just try and sort of uh clean them up a little bit do the best i can with it and um just spend a bit of time cleaning them you know 
So that's what we've got to do next. Um, I don't really want to move on until we've done this. I need to get this um, much, much better than what it is. So let's um, let's crack on. I'll set you up. Let's get this much, much better than what it is, and then we can move on. I'll be happy. So let's do this. <sighs> Right, okay guys, let me just explain exactly what I'm doing here because <laughs> this is becoming an absolute joke. But you have to bear with it, you have to keep going, you have to, you know, plod along basically. So, um, let me explain. The, the drums that come with the rear subframe that I got... Um, just absolute crap like i just just did, did not like the way they was looking didn't like this cylinder here just looks absolutely terrible it's proper seized you're supposed to be able to push that in like this you see that you're supposed to be able to do that and it's proper seized in there so um i thought at first, I thought, right, well, what I could do is I could just sort of replace the cylinder. Um, then realised the cylinders were different, slightly. Um, and then, so, yeah, so I thought, right, okay, well, if I can't replace the cylinder, then I'll just replace the, the pads. Can't replace the pads because these clips, these these holes here, these, these actually hold the actual um, brackets both sides, one there and one there. They were in a different place. So I couldn't just replace the pads. <laughs> so then I'm replacing the back plate, which is this back plate here. Um, this is the original one. It's not damaged, so I've checked it. Um, and it's just a case of, it's just two bolts. The actual two bolts do line up the same on the original beam. So that was good. And now, you know, I'm literally stripped the whole thing down um, and rebuilding 
the rear drums um you know clean it up because the, the original ones are in decent condition look they're in they're in pretty good condition so yeah we don't have to, i don't have to change them it's just i'll just re reuse these ones um but reusing the pad i had to change everything the back plate the lot but that's good because i've got a good good working cylinder now look good working cylinder on the back here so that's 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 what exactly what i'm looking for so that to release the cable that just pushes into the back of there so we'll just push that back into there rebuild it all up and then and the other thing as well is that this not the back plate the actual drum is here it's just rubbish look at it look it's just horrible compared to that one so it would have been nice to use that one, but I can't use that one on the original uh, back plate. So it just had to all be changed, basically. That's what I'm getting at. Um, so a little bit of a palaver. I've got to be honest, it's taking a hell of a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, just changing the rear beam. But, you know, it is what it is. We have to do it. I'll, I'll clean it all up. I'll uh, put some grease over the pads there. You can see these little indicators here, one, two, three. So you put a little bit of grease on them, a little bit of grease on these three as well. Um, so yeah, this is getting a proper strip down and a rebuild of the rear drums. But I just don't, didn't think, there's no other way of doing this, guys. It, it has to be done. So yeah, that is where we are. Um, this is going to take forever, but it's got to get done, guys. I've got to do it. I've, only, I'm only, I'm not, I've not even started the other side yet. It's still into its original one. So, it's just going to take some time doing it. But I'd rather spend a bit of time doing this, you know. Because I don't think I've ever sort of really ripped down and stripped um, brake drums and, and pads and stuff like before. So, it's just nice and interesting just to, to do a little bit more different... Something different um, that I'm doing, but it's going to take a little bit longer because I've never done it before. Uh, there's going to be a, people out there going to go, what an easy job, like, I've done loads, uh, blah, 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 but I haven't. And when you haven't done something like this before, it does take longer. It is what it is. It just takes longer. What's all that over that paint? That quarter's being painted anyway, so... It's weird. It's stone chipped everywhere. Come around here. Very strange. But this, this whole corner is being painted anyway. But I just noticed that. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted whilst videoing and talking to you guys. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to set you back up. Let's keep going. Get this rebuilt. Let's do this.
Right, okay, guys, finally, finally getting somewhere with this. Um, so as you can see, nice and free, but um, it's like it's, it's just catching on the bind. So I adjusted the actual, um, there's an actual adjuster in there that you can adjust it to bring the spring in and out. So I've just messed around with it, taking it on, taking it off, taking it on, taking it off, just making sure that it just grabs. Um, and then when I do the handbrake, it just locks it solid. It can't even move that, so that's good. Still got to bleed the actual brakes, the actual pipe here that brings in the fluid. Um, we've still got to bleed that off with the brake pedal. But um, it was the handbrake and that sort of stuff, and, and, and the position I want it, I want to make sure that it was solid, and it is now, so that's really good. So, we're moving in the right direction, finally. Um, I'm well happy with all that's come out, actually. So, um, we can now move to the other side. Um, <laughs> it's going to be exactly the same fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Right, let me uh, set you up. Let's get cracking. We've got to do it. It's all got to come off. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Right, okay, guys. <laughs> I am shattered. I can't believe how exhausting that was to do that. Um, I've never done that before, sort of ripping uh, brake drums to pieces and <laughs> rebuilding them. But everything's like nice, clean, tidy, oiled. You know what I mean? It's just been completely overhauled. So, and... Yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way it's actually gone. I know that it's taken a long time to do, but it had to be done, right? And I've still got to do a little bit of painting underneath here as well. I'm not happy with that. Well, I know I've done the underneath part, but I just want to do, uh, obviously, this part here where it was laying on the floor, and I want to spray that up and clean that. You know, I want to paint all these drums up as well, give them a paint up. 
Um, yeah, really, really tidy it up underneath here, you know, because obviously I've gone into all this effort. I just want to make it as, as really, really nice and decent as, as, as I can. Um, I still got to bleed the brakes. Uh, I just need a hand for that, someone to push the pedal um, whilst I um, undo the, um, the nipple at the top and we can um, bleed that off. But um, yeah, what a day. It's <laughs> just crazy. Obviously, I've got other bits and pieces going on as well. Um, I've just had to help uh, the mechanic at the end because he's just fixed up a Range Rover Evogue, uh, not Evogue, um, Sport, Range Rover Sport, um, and fixed it all up, rebuilt the engine, uh, put it all back together, and then took it for a test drive, <laughs> and then he broke down down the road, and it was it was locked into park. He couldn't take it out of park, and it was in it was in park. So I had to go down there with a load of tools, help him get that undone, and then tow him back with the truck. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I had that going on, plus I've got another car as well, a Focus, that's got a um, steering, it's got a, a, a warning come up on the on the dash and the power steering's gone on the car. Um, I might show that tomorrow actually because it is another another little project, it's just out there, um, I've took, started taking it apart and just see if I can work out what's going on, so <sighs> I, I'll just, just let you, I've been so busy today, it's crazy. But yeah, we'll probably have a look at that one tomorrow. Um, I'll show you what's coming up on the dash. Uh, but I thought I'd whip the battery out and charge it overnight to make sure that it's got the best chance um, of it doing it. Plus, it might reset it. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a bit of a strange one. That might be a steering new new steering rack and pinion on that one as well. Don't know. But <clears throat> for now, <laughs> that's, that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle doing this because I'm bloody struggling, I tell you. Uh, but rewarding. Struggling, but rewarding. Once it's all done, it's going to look and, and feel so much better the way it should do. So I'm not quite sure if it's in line as well, the actual uh, rear rear beam axle. I don't know if it's in the correct position. So basically what I've got to do is I've got to put each wheel put the wheel on there and put the wheel on there and then basically check and measure um, from the wheel arch how far the tyre is sitting at the position. Um, so we might have to move it around a little bit, but we'll do that tomorrow. We'll continue with this. It's not going to beat me uh, and it hasn't beat me today because that was a struggle. I've got to be honest. I know I keep saying it, but it was, um, especially on your own. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me doing this. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching.